what is up YouTube it's Kingfisher 745 and this is going to be the first part of the Spec Ops 14 task list in part 1 we're going to cover tasks 1 through 16 now the very first task you must defeat 10 dark elves you'll find these right away in mission 1 so this is a pretty easy task now moving on to task number 2 you must use Sif's Leaping Slash 4 times and Valkyrie's Dragon Fang 4 times the reward will be 1000 silver. Task 3 is to use Thor's hammer throw 5 times. And with any of these character ability tasks, if you have the character unlocked, you can use them in any mission and it will count. For task 4, you must defeat the destroyer. He's the boss of mission 1. The reward for completing this task is 1 command point. Now moving on to task number 5, you must complete a battle with curse. Curse is going to be the group boss this time around, and you can either fight him on your own map or on your friend's map. You're given 10 mischievous lockboxes as a reward. You also gain the blueprint for the Dark Elf Mask. So that's going to lead us into our very next task, which is the first research. Task number 6, you must research the Dark Elf Mask in the lab. So when we go over to the lab, you'll see that it costs 60 unstable ISO 8 and 100 silver. It also takes 8 hours to complete. Next you're going to need to use this item in combat. Task 7 says use 5 Dark Elf masks to break the illusions used by 5 Dark Elves. So basically you're going to have to go and buy 4 of these masks because you already have 1. Use them on your characters in battle and just fight the Dark Elves. For Task 8 you must fight 5 PvP battles. And this can be done in practice matches. You'll be given 100 experience and then task number 9. For task 9 you must defeat 10 Jotuns. You can find all 10 in Mission 2 Guiding Light. Now with task number 10 you must have 2 stars of mastery in Mission 1. And it's very beneficial to already have these 2 stars before you reach this task. That way you don't have to go back and revisit Mission 1. As a reward you're given the blueprint for the Stone Golem Club. So then you're going to have to go to the research lab once again. And just like with all other second researches, this one's going to take one full day to complete. So that's 24 hours, and it's also going to take 80 unstable ISO 8. You're also going to need this weapon for the very next task. So once we get to the next task, you must equip the Stone Golem Club, and then use it in combat. This is fairly easy and can be done in any mission. Now moving on to task number 13. You're going to have to use Heimdall's Vigilance two times, the Uru Blade three times, and his level 9 ability twice. Since this is a team up, I wanted to do it all in one mission. So I removed all counter attack weapons and just passed my turn until I could use all these abilities in one combat. Task number 14, you have to collect five mischievous lockboxes. You can of course gain these by fighting the group boss curse. For task number 15, you have to defeat the Enchantress. She's the boss of Mission 2 Guiding Light. After you complete this task, you will unlock Mission 3. And finally, that leads us up to the long research. So this is the task that's going to take us the longest to complete. For task number 16, you have to create the Eclipse in the lab. And this is going to take 2 days and 120 unstable ISO 8. So I'm still waiting on this one to complete, and I will finish the task list as soon as possible. Later today I'm going to release at least one other video, and it's going to be the heroic battles from chapter 1 revisited. So please stay tuned for that one. Lastly I want to thank you all for watching, and ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos.